we are very happy and proud to introduce Dr. Nivedita, who scored a fantastic rank of 110 in NEET PG 2019. So, hi Nivedita. Hi, sir. Um, this is a like, very casual interview, and what we are going to ask is regarding you know, like your preparation tips. So, is there anything you did special you know, like to achieve this rank? Um, uh, there was nothing as such special uh, that I did uh, because my goal as such was the exam and I did not think about the rank. Uh, and uh, I think uh, uh, one of the mistakes that many people do is they start expecting too much from the beginning. My, uh, my only aim when I started off was uh, to do uh, MCQs right, was to, do, uh, was to get my facts right. And I think that should be our uh, goal rather than thinking about the marks or the rank or, uh, uh, or the end result. Because it uh, does nothing but only uh, stresses up more. So, okay. I was, so at the beginning of the preparation, you didn't expect at all? Uh, I, I didn't think too much about what rank I would get or uh, uh, what marks I, I was expecting. So that's quite good because your goal is only to make the MCQs correct yes, sir. and to make the you know like to get your, my facts right oh. your facts right and preparation yes, right. Sir. So your preparation has to be in the right channel. Yes, sir. So what are the factors that made your preparation in the right channel? Um, what do you think the factors which um, affected your preparation? Yes. Uh, so for any PG aspirant, uh, the first. Uh, where the first person that we go to when we start is our seniors. Absolutely. So, yes. uh, so I had uh, I have very lucky seniors who gave me, who suggested me the right institute and uh, who guided me uh, to pick the right books for each subject and uh, so that was one very important part uh, of any preparation and um, so I started off from there but uh, only there is that much so much that a senior can help you uh, as far as uh, preparation strategy is concerned everybody has to come up with their own preparation strategy in that way i'm uh, very grateful to devesh mishra sir and uh, malcolm pinto sir because uh, i had no clue about uh, my preparation strategy as such uh, only they uh, guided us in their classes uh, they told us on how to make our notes better on how to revise and uh, all the other factors which uh, help us in uh, preparing more so um, so that was how uh, we we develop a strategy as we go on uh, so that was how yeah. i did it so having said about the books you told uh, the influence of books what are the books did you use uh, during the pg preparation time uh, during pg preparation time it was only the uh, guide books uh, uh, because uh, yeah uh, because the only major difference between from our uh, undergraduate and uh, PG preparation is cracking the MCQs and uh, the only thing that can help you go is uh, lots of practice. So we need to do MCQs on a daily basis which is, uh, so uh, go with a very good uh, guidebook um, in the sense um, we need to practice on a daily basis. So it should be concise also. Uh, and concise at the same time, it should be more informative. More also. informative, and uh, the MC, the quality of MCQs in the books should be good because there's yeah, uh, uh, there's no use in doing one-liners anymore. So we yeah, need this, to. Uh, and, and having said about that, you know, like this need has become more conceptual, isn't it? Yes, sir. And uh, uh, you got a lot of clinical-based uh, questions, and you had a lot of image-based questions as well. And the images were also like more conceptual, concept, I guess. Conceptual. And uh, what is your take on that? So, how, how, how did you tackle these conceptual questions in your exam? Um, I think uh, for conceptual questions as well as image based questions, uh, the base is one. Um, when we study, we need to understand the concept more because there is no use uh, sitting and solving 200 or 300 image based questions at a go. You have, if your concepts are uh, strong, um, uh, the moment you look at the image, the answer pops into your head. Because you don't see the image, you read the image. A single concept is equal to 100 MCQs. Yes, sir. <laughs> Absolutely. That's what I tell the students. Yes, sir. All the time. So, like, in uh, AIMS also, you tend to got this time, they little bit asked like video based questions. Yes. Did you expect it? Uh, no, it was the first actually, time. No. Uh, we, didn't, uh, we didn't actually uh, expect Even nobody uh, expected Nobody expected video based questions. But uh, again, they only tested your uh, knowledge in that. You know, like uh, the future people has to see a lot of videos to uh, answer the video based questions. I mean, um, honest answer from your side. Yes, sir, because uh, we didn't expect video based questions, but we were able to solve the video based questions because Just we had our concepts, concepts right. So, you have to uh, get the concepts yes, right. Sir. So, Quite concepts easy. are important for both image based questions and video based questions, and there is uh, uh, no need to fuss more about that because if your concepts are right, you get your uh, no matter it's a, a one liner or a concept based or, or image or a video, you tend to solve it. Uh, so I think 
concepts are the base yeah. for that the moment you saw this video based question did you panic no sir <laughs> you didn't i didn't panic honest <laughs> answer honest sir <laughs> honestly you didn't panic honestly i didn't panic cool <laughs> okay so because i that's why i asked all of my you know, like students who attended for the aim because even we didn't expect it to be video based questions so that's okay so you didn't panic yes. so how did you how was your last 3 months preparation last 3 months or 2 months which is very critical for the preparation of neat isn't it so exactly. because uh, it uh, neat was in jan beginning mm-hmm. so that november and december plays a very vital role in all pg aspirants preparation so what was your strategy during that 2 months time mm-hmm. november and december especially uh one thing that everybody should know is if you start reading any subject you can go on, you can go on reading it for months but once october uh, sets in you have to tell yourself enough is enough because saying enough is very very important for a pg aspirant because our goal is interesting yeah uh, our goal is uh, to solve those 300 mcqs in 3 and a half hours there is no need to do a md course right now in pg preparation period itself so whatever we do for uh, till october uh, at at the point of october we should be wise and strong enough to say this is enough and start doing our revisions because for that you have to be very fast in your you know like uh, uh preparation and understanding also because mm-hmm. till october to say enough you yes, have learned <laughs> yes sir we should have learned all, enough yes sir you should say enough you should have learned, learned enough. enough so then only you can say enough so which means you have learned enough yes sir during those uh, till october <laughs> hopefully hopefully yes so you think what did you do in that's what i'm asking what did you do in, okay saying enough is in october but what did you do in november and december uh going through the notes again and again is very important i i did uh, two revisions uh, there are many people who advocate more revisions but i think the quality of revisions is more important than the number of times you do it so for me uh, two times i revised the whole notes and uh, only during a, a revision you realize how much you have forgotten how much you've learned and forgotten and how much you've not learned so that uh, last two months um, play, play a major role in uh, because even without revision you can always crack uh, 40% to 50% easily but the, the extra edge the extra ranks that go up are always uh, the matter of the questions that you've revised at the last moment and that you've got right in the exam so you know like you told like lot of things you forgot <laughs> so you think how much uh, how many revisions are essential to uh, like make things strong and uh, n- not forgetting much uh, your personal it's, take it's okay so okay. you can tell uh, your personal take how lots of people you... say uh, different numbers but i think uh, two was uh, two times was what i did but uh, for the quality of revisions to be right uh, i think your first uh, preparation the first time you exactly. read has to be exactly. very that important that was i was about to ask you uh, people over emphasize revisions nowadays yeah because if your first preparation is right you know like given one or two revisions, revisions must be sufficient uh, the first time you prepare should be uh, the the aim of the first time uh, preparation is to make sure your two revisions go easy so you have to put all your notes in one place and make sure that uh, the last two months will be easy for you to revise through okay so you i mean did you study this i mean because this is what uh, many pg aspirants get confused because once they take a particular subject they usually you know like uh, do the subject for a very long time sometimes they forget even the time so did you have a proper pattern and planning regarding that so how did you do the i mean that planning and did you have any schedule to prepare that you know like this subject i'll give only 7 days this subject i'll give only 10 days this subject i'll give 12 days did you have anything did you have anyone to influence you or did you did it on your, i mean uh, did you do it on your own um in that way i think uh, the prime schedule was uh, helpful in many ways because uh, we generally have a gap of 5 days or so between two subjects and i thought uh, uh, and i i made sure that uh, those 5 days are the time i allocate for that subject uh, so that's what we have to restrict ourselves uh, ourselves to those 5 days and uh, make sure that we finish the subject or even if one or two minor uh, topics are left behind i i i i i restricted myself to the subject within 5 days and even if one or two subject or even one of the topics are left behind i didn't bother you did so later I, uh, i did later uh, you did later maybe mm-hmm. so you concentrated on the core topics first or you try to finish all the topics uh the core topics sir the, the core, core topics. topics so which have been asked in the previous entrance exam uh, and uh, the topics which were emphasized in class by our faculties uh, uh were obviously the core core topics are covered in class and uh, we do that more uh, uh in depth more in depth so like what are you know like something you know like uh, we should have a lot of positives and negatives during our preparation 
so is there any strong positive influence during a preparation because some there might be some more emphasis on friends who do positively there will be more emphasis on parents so you think this support from our closed group is essential during a preparation it's absolutely essential because uh, six months uh, sitting at home and looking only at books uh, you need to have a strong will power to go through it and in that way i'm very lucky because i had a very good support system uh, in the form of my parents uh, they said yes to everything that i said uh, even if i didn't want to come to some place they said okay fine you stay at home uh, in that way so uh, parents who value your decisions who support you through i think they are the first support system you think you dedicate your uh, success to them yes sir, absolutely absolutely fine so doing again during the need for example during those three and a half hours what was you thinking in your mind um uh, my like by the time maybe i can put a question like this by the time you start started you seeing your first question yes. or by the time you are sitting in front of the computer so what was your feeling that time uh, or I what was you thinking and maybe you are too anxious or maybe uh, you know like you are thinking about something else um so uh, we need to go um I think going early to the exam hall helps a lot in that. Uh, Because it go, reduces your stress. No, so you go early. Don't meet anybody outside. Go and sit in front of your system. <laughs> Staring at the system for too long, uh, you won't feel anxious anymore. And by cool, that time, yeah. actually, uh, you know, like that's a very wonderful strategy, isn't it? Going early and sitting in front of the computer and just staring at the system for long. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, true, true. Actually, that's a very good uh, idea because it reduces your anxiety, anxiety level. Anxiety level. Because uh, I I've, I've seen like some people going at the last moment, just rush, sit, see the first question, you know, like and panic. Yes. Like, but in that way, in like accustoming yourself in, in according the, to the environment the is environment. actually quite very important. And uh, you want to tell any special tips to our uh, future, you know, like students who are going to write next me? Um, yes, sir. Uh, uh, from your side, from your personal perspective. Yes. Um, for uh, for all the PG aspirants who are uh, preparing for uh, the next meet and uh, for the needs to come, uh, always remember. Uh, hard work and smart work go side by side you need to do both there's no use of hard work without doing a smart work so always have a very strong uh, preparation strategy uh, it might take some time to develop one but make sure uh, whatever you do the the hard work that you put in doesn't go in vain okay okay thank you so much nivedita thank you sir and thank you so much for your you know like uh, we, that's why we interview a lot of people because we get a lot of different different kinds of tips because one student might be telling something one student might be telling a different sort of tip but the viewers who are watching this might be able to correlate all these things and put their own perspective and add on to it and make a somewhat a strong strategy for their own so that's why the idea of the entire interviews from different students as well and from that point of view you gave a lot of different kinds of tips and we really thank you for that thank you so and much. Uh, as a part of team prime we are really really proud of your achievement and we wish you all the very best for more and more success thank you so much sir and i would like to uh, thank uh, team prime chennai because of uh, for, for all the wonderful faculties that we've got and for uh, for all the queries for all our queries being answered uh, so thank you everybody thank you so much nivedita thank you sir